Die drittgrößte Wirtschaftsmacht erweist sich als hilflos und machtlos gegen das friedliche Atom, gegen die entfesselten Naturgewalten. Und im Angesicht von Fukushima hat nun unser IPPNW-Programm eine ganz neue und beängstigende Aktualität bekommen. Ich freue mich ganz besonders, dass ich heute Abend eine IPPNW-Kollegin aus Japan begrüßen kann. Eine Mitstreiterin über viele Jahre und eine ganz besonders gute und enge Freundin. Sie heißt Katsumi Forizo. Sie besuchte Gebiete, die von den Auswirkungen der atomaren Kette belastet sind. Also Uranminen im Land der Ureinwohner des Süd der südwestlichen USA, dem, radioaktiven Nieder dem durch radioaktiven Niederschlag belasteten Gebiet in Nevada und äh, die, die Hanford Atomanlagen. Außerdem besuchte sie noch die ehemals französischen atomaren Versuchsgelände in Algerien. Gemeinsam mit ihren Kollegen und mit uns kämpft Furizu darum, den Opfern radioaktiver Belastung so weit es in ihrer Macht steht, zu helfen, mit dem Ziel einer atomwaffenfreien und atomenergiefreien Zukunft. Liebe Katsumi, herzlich willkommen. Japan, 
Even now, I, I couldn't, I cannot accept the, what, what's happening over there in Fukushima. Uh, the many young firefighters uh, work there, and many workers are working there in such highly contaminated environment. Without their work, we cannot uh, keep such, a, we cannot control the most critical situation of the, the reactors. And uh, as you know, the, the reactors are still unstable. We are facing to, uh, to have another Chernobyl, much more worse, worse than uh, Chernobyl might be happening in Japan. And that radioactive materials might spread all over the world. So it's very a pity. But we have to do something as a physician and as a human being who is living in this planet. And we have to transfer this planet to our next generation in peace. So now, I'm starting to think about what we can now do as a physician. It's still difficult for, for me to say something, something to, to the people, you know. Government <coughs> say, uh, they, they, they report sometimes the data of the radiation or uh, data of their radioactive materials in food, but always they add some more words. They say that uh, it's not the immediate danger for human beings. We know that it's not immediate danger, but we know that it will cause cancer, leukemia, or other diseases in the future. So we physicians, scientists, specialists have to tell the people the truth. It's very hard to tell the people such, uh, such things to the people. You know, it's very sensitive things. You, know. you might know the news that one of the farmers who came to know that their vegetables are contaminated com committed suicide. So we have to take care of them, uh, not only the health problem, but all the life. Life that they are living on the, the growing vegetables and the fishing and the, but the nuclear power plants contaminate everything. So, but you know that such kind of things, uh, we already, learned from the uh, colleagues from uh, uh, Belarus, Ukraine, and Russia. He already knew such kind of things, but we repeat it again. So I think that we have to stop all the system of these kind of things. Without uh, stopping uh, this system, we can never protect the people. And then, uh, yeah, we, uh, after I come, I come back to Japan, I, we have so many things to, to, to do. At first, we have to uh, help people who are still living uh, in the highly contaminated areas including children and pregnant women. And we have to follow up their health and we have to follow up the contamination. Some people might not want to leave their <coughs> homeland, even though the place uh, is such highly contaminated. We can understand their feeling. So
So, but anyway, uh, I, I really would like to discuss with you during this conference what we can do and uh, how we can cope with the common enemy who is promoting this uh, the dangerous uh, industry and uh, weapons and uh, nuclear energy. We need your help and advice and support. We have to unite our strengths. We have to unite the physicians all over the world. So thank you very much. sehr bewegenden Worte von dir, Katsumi. Ich glaube, wir haben alle sehr mitgefühlt mit den Menschen in Japan und auch diese Trauer kann uns, wenn wir traurig sind, wieder neue Kraft geben. Äh, wirklich dieses Übel.